Hello friends, welcome back to our tutorial designing an impressive architectural building in Revit 2018 metro. If you have been following along, go and open the file 00 underscore 024 underscore DIAB underscore M. You can also download this file from the website. Click the file tab and upload the mouse cursor to save as. Click project. Rename this file to 00 underscore 025 underscore DIAB underscore M and click the save button. Go to the project browser and double click the first floor view. Click into the drawing area. Roll the mouse wheel forward to zoom in. Right click the roof. Select grid similar. Go to the draw panel and select the pick line command. Click the define slope. Check the define slope button and change the offset to 750 millimeter. Offset this wall, this wall, this wall, this wall, this wall, this wall. Click on the modify button. Have the mouse cursor to this line and press the tab key. Click. Change the slope to 4 to 12. Go to draw panel and select the pick line command. Uncheck define slope. Click the on the face of this wall. This wall. This wall. This wall. Go to the modify panel and select the trim extend to corner. Clean up the sketch lines. Click the green check mark. Go to the default 3D view to see the result. Now double click the ground floor view to open this view. Zoom in into this area. Click the dimension command. Dimension from this edge to this edge, this to this edge, place this dimension. Click modify. Select this wall and change this value to 1600 millimeter. Press enter. Select this, the align dimension command. Select this face and this face. Click to place the dimension. Click the modify button. Select the align dimension command. Start a dimension from this edge to this edge and click the center of this window. Move the mouse cursor down and click to place the window. Click the EQ button. Click modify. Select this dimension and hit delete on your keyboard. Click OK to leave this window constrained. Now select this window and change this value to 1800. 1800 millimeter and click to see the result. Change this value back to 1900. You see, because of the constraint, this window remain at the center of this wall. Click now, go to the default 3D view. Now we need to align this wall with the bottom wall. To do that, go to the first floor plan, go to the modify panel and select the align command. Click the face of this wall and click this wall to align it. Click the modify button. Select this roof. Click edit roof footprint. Select the line command. Start a line at the center of this wall and draw it up. Use the dimension command to make sure that this wall is center between these two walls. Place the dimension and click the EQ button. Click modify. Select the dimension and hit delete on your keyboard. Select this sketch line and hit delete. Click the pick line command in the draw panel and change the offset distance to 750 millimeter. Offset this line. Click the define slope and change the slope to 4. Offset this line, this line, and click the modify button. Now click the trim extend to corner. Select this sketch line and this sketch line, this and this. This sketch line and this sketch line, this sketch line, this sketch line, this sketch and this sketch line, this sketch line and this sketch line. Now select this line and hit delete. Click the pick line command and set the offset distance to 750 millimeter. Select the face of this wall. Select the trim extent to corner. Select this sketch line and this sketch line, this sketch line 
and the sketch line. Click the modify button. Select this sketch line and hit delete on your keyboard. Select this sketch line and change the value to 9. Select this sketch line and make sure that the value is set to 4 to 12. Select this. Hold down the control key. This, 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 this. Set the value to 4 to 12. Click out to deselect. Only this can be set to 9 to 12. Now click the green check mark. Go to the default 3D view to see the result. Now because we edit this this wall, this goes overlap this other roof. So we need to modify this roof. Select this roof and click the edit footprint. Go to the first floor plan. Select the align dimension command. Click the edge of this face, this face, and click on this sketch line. Move the dimension down and click to place the dimension. Click the EQ button. Click modify. Select the dimension and hit delete on your keyboard. Click the green check mark. Go to the default 3D view to see the results. Click the zoom to fit command and click the save button on the quick access toolbar. In the next tutorial, we're going to finish the roof for this model. If you like this tutorial, please click the like button and share it to your friends. If you have any question or suggestion about this tutorial, please leave a comment below. If you want to continue this tutorial or any other tutorial on my channel, please subscribe. Thanks very much for watching. I hope to see you in the next class. Goodbye.